And there's our God wants to, his job is to come out and remind you of who you are. A lot of y'all don't know where your history goes back to. I don't know what the hell's going on. Madness. Madness. If I love you, what'd you say, brother? What'd you say, brother? What'd you say, brother? No, I didn't hear you. I, I, otherwise, I wouldn't ask what you said if I heard you. I know, I know you got something poking out that ain't real over there. I don't give a damn how many cantaloupes you put in your jacket. You a man, brother. I don't give a damn how many grapefruits you put inside your damn jacket, brother. Fill your jacket up with grapefruits and now you and now, I'm still, now check this out. You got a man that, that, that we just we can be getting stricken with madness again. <laughs> Because I'll tell you something right now. You may fill your jacket up with... <laughs> it's bad out here, bro. It's bad. You may fill your jacket up with breakfruits and think that it changes who you are. But something else is going on in the world that we're living in where now TV and the schools and the TV shows are telling me that I have to suffer from the same madness you're suffering from. Because you woke up and wanted to change who you are. Now, I have to accept it. Even if you look like you average 4.9 yards a carry, and even if it look like you average 9.9 rebounds a game, I'm supposed to look at you like you're a woman because you went to the produce section and picked out two cantaloupes and shoved them in the tail jacket. Give me this. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Damn well, that's in this right over. Smitten with madness. Going crazy. Boys think they're girls. Girls think they're boys. You can put great fruits in your jacket all you want, but we know you a man. We don't. And blindness and astonishment of the heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Man, it ain't even nighttime yet, brothers out here. He want us to grope him, so we don't know what he looks like. He might be the grope. I'm telling you right now, we love our people. And if I didn't love you, I wouldn't tell you the truth. The thing is, y'all are more special than all these other people that y'all look up to. The truth is, y'all are the ones. Y'all are the ones that learned everything wrong. Huh? Remember y'all? The ones that got their idea boom? That's y'all. Y'all Israelites. Y'all so-called black, Latinos, and Americans. You've forgotten your maker. You've forgotten your maker. You've forgotten what's important. Right? Because let me tell you something. If we're, not, if we're arguing about the proper Hebrew character, and then you guys walk away, right? And I'm having a discussion about something that's real, like salvation for our people, or solving the oppression of our people, or getting our people fed and warm at night. Give me James chapter 2, verse 14. Or, or getting our, our homeless people a place to stay, or getting our hungry people a meal, or getting our cold people a jacket or a blanket, then what are we really talking about? We're not really talking about much. I'll tell you that, right? Give me, uh, give me, uh, you got, you got that? Okay. Uh, what's that? This is the book of James, chapter two, verse sixteen. This is the book of James, chapter two, verse fourteen. What does the prophet, my brethren, know a man say? He has faith. What does the prophet somebody to say they have faith in God? What prophet do you have to say you have faith in God and have not works? If you don't have works attached to it, right? I, I tell you I love you, but then I gotta show you I love you too. I tell God I love him, but I gotta show God I love him. You know I love him. I can tell her that, but if I don't show her, she don't believe that. That's right, I believe it. <laughs> and she just showed me that she do. You did what I'm talking about reason. Can faith save him? Can faith save you by itself? Right? Read on. If a brother or a sister be naked, if your brother or your sister has no warm clothing and destitute, and they're destitute of daily food, and they don't have food, they're cold and hungry, read on. And one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warm and go. Now the guy out here homeless and he's hungry, and I tell him, hey man, go, be warm, be good. Right? What good is that? Now, which thing is suffering, not those things which are needful to the body. If you don't give them those things that are needful to the body, I know you're cold, I know you're hungry, but I don't get no blanket. 
I don't give you a boulder, I don't give you something, then what good is you telling me, man, hold on, man, you know, you know what, what is that? That's lip service, they call that. But your works gotta back up what you say. I said, a sister, I love her, show me. Man, I, that's how it works. And it should be that way. You don't tell somebody you love her, you show somebody you love her. And you, I don't tell a girl I love her, and they go inside her head. If he has not works, is dead. Faith without works is dead. You know what I'm talking about, sis? You know about that? You know about that? You look at me crazy now. You, you, you cut your eyes. You cut your eyes. <laughs> you did what I'm talking about? Say it like say it like Benjamin said. How you doing, sis? You know we love y'all. You know about God's chosen people. You know we have the chosen people of God. All you blacks, you like females, and Native Americans. That's why God chose you above all the other nations on the earth. And it may be hard for you to believe right now because right now all our people are on the bottom. It may be hard to believe right now because all our people are gang banging and twisting their fingers up at each other and shooting each other and selling dope. It might be hard.